Okay, 4.2. It says the TVs are boxed and packed into shipping containers before they are exported. The, box, uh, the boxes the TVs are packaged into have the dimensions 97 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 59 centimeters. The shipping contains, uh, containers have the dimensions 6 meters times 2.4 meters times 2.6 meters, right? So it says an employee calculates how many TVs will fit in, it will, in one container. Okay, his calculations are shown below. So it says the volume of the container is 6 times 2.4 times 2.6, which is what we have over there. So that's in meters cubed. Remember, we are timesing three different dimensions, right? Length, breadth, and width. And that is why we have to the power of 3, okay? Or that little superscript 3, okay? Then it says the volume of the TV box, right? So they've converted each of these into meters, right? So do you see here it's 97 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and 59 centimeters. So don't get confused, right? They've just basically said here, well, we know that 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters meters equal, equals one meter, right? And that's why they've, they've converted that there, worked out the volume. Then they've said here, number of TVs in container, volume of container divided by the volume of box, right? So they've basically said that answer divided by that answer. And they've got this number here and they've rounded it down. Now you might be saying, okay, well, rounded it off. <laughs> um, and you might be saying, well, you know, why did they do that? Because you can't fit in like little bits of a TV, right? Because point two is a certain portion of a TV, but you can't cut the TV into bits, right? And put it in, okay? So let's get into sort of like the question that they want us to look at here. So it says, Neo, um, a mathematical literacy learner recognizes that the employee has made a common mistake in calculating the number of boxes that can fit. Okay, explain words what the mistake is. Now, this is a very interesting question because most learners do think that you can just say the volume of something that you're trying to fit something into divided by the volume you, of the thing you're trying to fit into it, right? But what you need to remember is that that only works for water, right? And you might be like, okay, that's really random. But water fits, right? Water is one of those things where you pour it into a vessel, right? So if I pour water into a glass, it takes the shape of that glass, doesn't it, right? But if I put a box into a bigger box, right? I have to make sure that those boxes can fit alongside each other to fit into that overall box, right? So you can't just say volume divided by volume, right? Because that actually doesn't make sense. And that wouldn't always work, right? Because here, it might actually want you to squish TVs in weirdly and that sort of thing. Because the TV is a set shape, right? It can't just take the shape of whatever shape it's put into. It's already a set shape, right? So the only time you can say volume divided by volume is when you're looking at something that can take on the shape of the thing that it's put into, like water, like a liquid, right? But you can't do that often with solids like a box, Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's a little bit abstract, but it's quite an important thing to look at. And I think the next question, right, um, the one that comes after 4.2.1, gives us a sort of a visual representation of that. So I'll look at that in a bit more detail. But let's say, let's try to put it into words. So explain in words what the mistake is, right? So the mistake is dividing volume by volume, okay? That is the mistake, okay? You, that, is, is, that is the mistake that he's made. He's just assumed that the, whatever the volume of the TV is can just fit perfectly into the volume of the bigger shape. And that's not the case here, okay? So let's just look at the diagram on the next page. And I think it will be a little bit clearer, okay? So before we even read the scenario, let's just look at this diagram. So do you see that the TVs have to be put in in a particular way into the box to fit them in? Right? Do you see that? You can't just throw them in and they'll take on the shape of the overall box, right? Or container. So that's what why saying volume divided by volume would be incorrect, right? Because you can't just squish TVs in, however, they have a set shape. Okay. So let's look at 4.2.2. So it says Neo stated that um, 576 TVs can fit into his, this container if the boxes are packed in the following way as illustrated in the diagram below. By means of calculations, show whether he is correct or not. Okay, so remember, right, the, we have the length 
let's just find the um, different um, measurements that we have over here. We have six, 2.4, and 4. Point, uh, so let's just do this. So it's six meters. Um, I think this is 2.4 meters, and this is 2.6 meters. Let's just check. So those are all the different dimensions, right? And the box, which we've just shown, um, shown over here, they've given us the dimensions here, 0 0.97, 0 0.59, and 0 0.1. So to understand, right, how many TVs can go into it, we should divide each of the dimensions of the bigger container by its corresponding measurement of the TV, right? So basically you're gonna say, right, width, of container over width of TV. Then we're gonna say length of container over length. I don't know why I'm doing these little cursive L's, but I'm just committing to that life now. And then breadth of container over breadth. I don't know if I spelled that right, but I'm sure you are smarter than me when it comes to spelling. So, right? So what is the width of the container? Well, it's 2.4, right? So then what is the width of a TV this way, right? It is 0 0.1. We have that from over here, 0 0.1. Then what is the length of the container? Well, it's 6 meters. What is the length of the TV? Well, we have 0 0.97. Okay, what is the breadth? It is 2.6, or you could call that the height, I guess. As long as you are differentiating the three different dimensions, right? So I'm saying, what is, if that's 2.6, what is the two, what is it corresponding to on the TV, right? Well, it is 0 0.59. So let me just draw some colors here, because you might be like, well, I don't know what's happening. So this here corresponds to that on the TV, right? Then this here corresponds to that little link there on the TV. And then this here corresponds to that length on the TV. Okay. So basically what we're saying is how many of these lengths on the TV can fit into that length of the container? How many heights or, or breadths in this case on the TV can fit into that height of the container? And how many widths of the TV can fit into that width? Right, and that will give us, and then we'll get the answer for those three, right? And together, if we multiply those answers, it will give us the number of TVs, right? And that is more accurate than just saying volume divided by volume, right? Because you've taken into consideration that the TVs are a set shape. They're not just water that can flow into any shape, right? They're a set shape, okay? And that's what they're testing here. They're testing whether you understand that, which is it's quite like... um. It's quite a nuanced thing, right? It's not an easy one, um, but it's a very important one to remember. So you'll see here, right, that I am just writing out the answer for each of these. Sure, I have so many bugs going on here, right? Um, so this, I'm not putting a unit because this is just saying how many lengths like how many widths of the TV can fit into this width? So I'm just saying 24 widths. And here it's 6.19 um, lengths. And here is going to be, let me just type that in. How many zero? Nine. It's just going to be 4.41 breadths, right? So it's not actually like a specific um uh, measurement, if that makes sense. I just want to check if they asked us to round anything off. Um, I'm just going to round it off to, I just want to see the diagram is not drawn to scale and shows only a few boxes. Well, remember we have to round it off. I'm just thinking, right? Because you can't have this these little bits of boxes, right? You either have a whole box or you don't. So this one here, we're going to round this off to six right and remember you always have to round it down because you can't round it up because you can't just make more space in a container right so you must round this off to a um whole we call it a whole number but it's basically a number with no fraction next to it right because we can only pack whole tvs we can't cut them in half right so i'm doing all those whole numbers so i'm saying i want to take my 24 widths and times it by my six six lengths 
and then times it by my four breadths, and that will tell me how many TVs I can fit into this container. Okay, so it's quite it's quite an interesting thought pattern, but once you can visualize it, right, it really is a useful tool to, to use in these questions, but also just in life, right? Because sometimes we do have to pack bigger containers with smaller containers, and it's a good way of thinking about it, right? So the total number of TVs that can be packed is 576. Ah, we can say here, Neo is correct, remember. Right? And this is something often we forget, right? They ask us, right, to to corroborate or substantiate or or give a reason or calculation as to why someone is right or, or correct or incorrect. Yeah, he is correct, right? But we've done the calculation, but we need to say at the end of the calculation, yes, he's correct. Otherwise, doing the calculation means nothing, right? You actually have to answer the question. Okay, so that's how I went about it. I hope that you followed that. It's quite a, a nuanced question, but also for a lot of marks, right? And you don't want to be skipping these marks um, or, or, or messing anything up here because it's some of the easier marks to get. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. We only have two more questions left of this paper, so we're almost there. I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next one.